Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lost here. I just wanted to make a quick how to set up virtual audio cable. Um, now I am using Reaper to make my voice sound better. Basically, I just wanted to remove the background noise, um, which it has done amazingly. However, I did have some issues and that was more around um, how I had my actual audio cable set up. So I figured I'd do a quick how to on getting that fixed because if you do watch other tutorials on how to set up Reaper, they explain everything else other than this in detail. So we'll get right into it. Um, if you're watching this, then you would already have Reaper installed um, as well as a virtual audio cable, so VB audio cable, um, also known as VAC. And then effectively what we'll want to do is copy my settings because if you copy my settings, it should work for you. Now this works on any USB mic. And if you are using Reaper, this probably work if you're not using Reaper. If you're using something similar, it's you know I would imagine it's going to be very similar setup. But either way, I'll just show you quickly my um, options, like my preferences, how they're set up in Reaper, and then I will get into the detail on how to set up the virtual audio cable on your PC. So just quickly, now when I go to here, there will be no sound from me. So what I'll do is I'll just leave uh, the screen on for a minute, and then we'll talk about it when I come back. So you go options and preferences. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to highlight there is the sample rate being 48,000 megahertz. Now, when you download and install VB, uh, like the virtual audio cable, that might be set to uh, 41,000 or 44,000. Um, I don't know if it's going to be set to 48,000 for you automatically. Mine wasn't. So what happened for me in Reaper was I got an error message saying um, uh, your settings don't match or something didn't match. I can't remember what it was. I'm not very technical. Um took me a while to figure it out. So what you need to do next. Now, again, I'm sorry, I'm assuming here that you've already got Reaper set up and you're just having issues with your audio cable or getting, you know, you might be hearing your own voice in Reaper and not sure how to stop that. That's what this is about. So what you want to do is right click on your sound. If you're on Windows 10, you can go playback devices or recording devices. Or if you don't have Windows 10, you can just type in sound and same thing, control panels right here. Um, and then what we're looking at here is the speakers, right? So first of all, on playback, your speakers stay the same. Leave it on speakers. Do not change anything here. As you can see, uh, why is that default communications device? Uh, it should just be here. Um, done. Nothing should be ticked in here. It should all just be on speakers. And then in recording, this is where we'll actually make a change. So in the recording, you'll have your microphone, whatever that is. Mine's a Rode uh, NT-USB, which I do love. So you have that set as your default communications device. And the VB virtual audio cable will be set up as the default device. Now, this is how you need to have it set up in order for this to work, okay? So now I'm gonna show you some other settings in here. So if you go right click on your microphone and go properties, if you check advanced, you want to make sure that your channel matches that of your preferences in Reaper. If you're using Reaper, same if you're using something else. They all need to match. It all needs to be the same. So if that said 44,000, I would get in, I would have some issues. If it said 41,000, I'd probably have some issues. So first set to 48,000 hertz along with everything else. The next step is to go into listen. Now, if you have this ticked, which you shouldn't, but if you do, this is what will happen. Like, like I'm really, really loud, loud and echoey, echoey. and you, and you probably, probably hear all my background noise because it's my actual microphone. microphone. All right, uh, so, so we untick and apply, and now we're back to normal and sound much better, right? Like, probably still not 100% because I've still got to play around in Reaper to get myself to sound good, but I sound okay. Um, and now on the cable, right-click properties. Again, go to advanced. Make sure that this matches what you have in either Reaper and your microphone. It all needs to be the same. And then go to listen. Now, if you're like me and in Reaper you're hearing yourself, this is where you need to come. So you need to untick listen to this device because if you tick it, you will then hear yourself. So we'll do it again. again. So, so now, now I, I can, can hear myself. myself and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure you can hear, hear my echo. echo and unticking it, it, apply. I no longer hear myself in here, which is fantastic because I hate hearing myself. And click OK. So 
that's it. That's pretty much how, or that is how you need to set up um, your audio cable in on your PC in order to get this all to work, okay? Now, lastly, I will also show you just in OBS how I have my settings in OBS. Um, now, if I just go to settings on here, and then we go to audio, and just make sure that your desktop audio device is your default speakers, and your microphone is now selected as the VB audio virtual cable. Okay, so not your microphone, otherwise you'll just get your microphone without any of the um, the settings that you've done through Reaper or whatever other voice changer you want to use. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have mine through the cable, which is also how I have that set up in Reaper. So therefore, all my sound is effectively coming through Reaper. So that's it. Um, very quick tutorial. I'm not explaining how to set up Reaper, which I do think is amazing. It just takes a little bit of tinkering around with. There are some really good videos out there um, on how to set up Reaper for Twitch. Um, so I do suggest if you want Reaper, I'll leave it in the uh, link for it in the description below, along with the description, uh, sorry, along with the link in the description for the virtual audio cable as well that I'm using. Um, it's only one cable and that's all you need unless you want to do multiple splittings because you can split. I don't want to get too technical. You can get more, but just YouTube <laughs> other how to's for that stuff. This one's purely just how to set it up um, your devices with the virtual audio cable in the PC. So look, I do hope this helped other people. Um, I struggled with this quite a bit. I don't, I don't know why I'm just not great at this stuff, but I couldn't find any information on how to stop hearing myself in Reaper. And I also couldn't really figure out from watching everybody else's like how to videos, um, how to set up and install the virtual audio cable correctly. Cause I was just saying install it, like download it, install it and that's done. But that's actually not the case all the time because for me, it, didn't just work I had to tinker around so yes look I hope this helped um, somebody else uh, if it did please like it uh, like the video subscribe uh, I try and put out um, gaming videos in general not really how many like how to's but you know if there's more things that I can do then let me know and like if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below and I'll respond to everybody and yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. Take care.